here's another quadratic model that um, shows projectile motion and is solved using a quadratic function. When we have projectile motion, that means we have something that is flying through the air and comes back down to the ground because of gravity. So this particular example um, talks about a projectile off of a cliff going out into some water. So I like to imagine that this is Captain Jack Sparrow being shot out of a cannon off the top of the cliff or something like that. Hope Disney doesn't get mad at me for that. And someone has determined that the function that represents the height of his path can be determined by this equation, this function here, negative 32 x squared. 32 comes from gravity divided by 400 squared. So that could have just been done as a number like 1660,000 or something like that. Plus x plus 500. 500 is probably the height of the cliff. But we didn't have to figure this out. They just gave it to us. And we have a couple of questions we're going to answer. The first question we want to answer is what will be what will the maximum height of the projectile be? Like when it reaches its maximum height right here at the top of our parabola, what will that height be? Okay? So that just means we're finding the vertex. So if you will recall, to find the x value of the vertex, we can use the formula negative b over 2a. So if we go ahead and plug um, our values from our, form from our function into this, so b is 1, it's the number right next to x here. So our formula is negative b, so negative 1, over 2 times a. And a is this entire number that's with our x squared. So the entire negative 32 divided by 400 squared. So if you put that in your calculator, you get 2,500. And I believe this is in feet. I guess the 400 has to do with how fast the projectile is going at like 400 feet per second. But again, we didn't have to figure that out. They just gave it to us. Okay. Now, is that the maximum height? No. That is the x value where the maximum height occurs. So, assuming that the projectile is launched when x equals 0, then 2 1,500 feet later across this water, the projectile has reached its maximum height. So that's where Jack is at his highest point. Okay? But the question is, what is the maximum height? So that's not our answer. The answer can be found by plugging that into the original problem. So we're now going to find the height of 2,500. So that means we plug it in. Sometimes stuff like this can be hard to plug into your calculator because if you're not careful with order of operations, your calculator does or order of operations automatically and will sometimes give you the wrong answer. So it's frequently good to make sure you've put parentheses around things in fractions. Although it's usually just when we have adding and subtracting. Since this is all multiplying and powers, it should be fine without any extra parentheses. We should just be able to go 32 times 2,500 squared without even these parentheses or without these parentheses or these. I've just left them in the problem, but they shouldn't be needed to get the right answer. So then our calculator gives us the answer. 1,750 feet. So that's how high in the air Jack gets to before he starts flying back down. Now this is above the surface of the water because this is like our x-axis down here. Okay. The 
next question we're going to answer is how far out across the water will he be when he hits the water? What's the y value or the height at this point right here when he hits the water? Well, the height is 0 above the water. So y equals 0, or in this case h of x equals 0. And this is known as an x-intercept. Well, how do we find our x-intercepts? We take our quadratic and we set it equal to 0 because the height is 0. So here's the question then. Where will the projectile hit the water? Um, the, dist the question we're looking for is what distance from the cliff? Because the bottom of our cliff here, that's where zero, zero is. And we want to know where that point is right there. Okay. So we take our function and set it equal to zero. Negative 32x squared over 400 squared plus x plus 500. I went ahead and put this whole thing in my calculator and just got a decimal for it. I don't know if that makes it easier or harder, but that's what I decided to do. So this gives me negative point zero 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 two x squared plus x plus 500. So now I have a quadratic I'm trying to solve, and obviously I don't want to try and factor this. So we're going to use the quadratic formula. So x equals negative b plus or minus square root b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. So to find those values, we go x equals negative 1, because that's b, plus or minus square root b squared minus 4 times a times c, that whole thing over 2 times a. Again, this is a tricky calculator problem. This time you will want to use parentheses because order of operations will divide before this addition when in fact we need it to happen the other way around. We need to do the negative one plus this number before it divides this number. So when you put this in your calculator, please put parentheses here and then you divide and then you do parentheses here to make sure that everything's being done in the right order. Okay, so the calculations would be done twice because we have a plus and a minus. When we plug in the plus number, so negative one plus the other stuff divided by the stuff on the bottom, I guess it's negative point zero 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 four, right? We get a negative answer. Well, does that make sense that we're going to get a negative answer as a distance across from the bottom of the cliff? No, not really. What that answer is telling us is that technically this parabola has another x-intercept clear over here that's in a negative direction from that cliff. But that x-intercept is not where it hits the water. It's embedded in rock, and we don't really care about it. So we need to find a different answer that's a positive number. So let's try this again with the minus instead of the plus. So we're going to go negative 1 minus all that stuff in the square root divided by negative 0 0.0004. And this time we get positive 54, 58.039. Let's just round it to 5,458 feet. And that's where the projectile will hit the water.